yeah greetings of the day welcome to madanapalli institute of technology and science myself k satish working as assistant professor in csc department i am going to deliver a lecture on osi reference model so before going to uh, come to the topic first we have to the, these are all the flow of presentation topics so before going to uh, start a osi reference model first uh, some basic concepts of computer network network is nothing but uh, two or more computers that are connected uh, either by cables or uh, cables nothing but wired or uh, wi wifi wireless with the purpose of uh, transmitting as well as exchanging or sharing data as well as resources so computer network is nothing but a collection of interconnected autonomous computing devices so uh, two computers are said to be interconnected if they can exchange information so interconnection is not uh, can take place uh, over a uh, variety of transmission media uh, like uh, uh, twisted pair cable uh, fiber optic cable radio waves micro uh, examples uh, microwaves infrared uh, communication satellites so while coming uh, while come to the uh, coming to the topics uh, layers of osi model osi is nothing but open system interconnection uh, it has been developed by 1984 uh, osi stands for in, uh, in developed by 1984 it is uh, it is uh, this osi model having seven layers so uh, here yeah, the main purpose of this osi model is if uh, if a person want to communicate with another person so this uh, how, how the data will be transferring from source to destination the, all those inform all all those information with the help of this osi model only we are going to uh, transmitting or receiving the information so in this uh, osi model having seven layers uh, the first the very much first layer is physical layer second layer is data link layer and third layer is network layer and fourth layer is uh, transport layer and the fifth layer is session layer and the sixth layer is presentation layer and the last layer is application layer so this is for source side and the receiver side also there will be having seven layers so whatever we are sending the information or transmitting the information that should be uh, that should be reached or re uh, re received by the receiver so from the source side having seven layers and the receiver side having seven layers so physical layer the data will be in the form of uh, bits the data in the, the physical the, which is the first which is the lowest layer of the osi model uh, physical layer so the data will be in the form of uh, in the physical layer is bits so while coming to the uh, from the physical layer to the next layer is the data link layer so the data link layer the data will be in the form of frames so fr from the physical layer the data will be in the form of bits that is zeros and ones from the physical layer to the next layer is the data link layer that in the data link layer the data will be in the form of frames so that mean for example hello hello world hello is one frame and a world is another frame so the next from the net, uh, data link layer to the next ne next layer is the network layer in the network layer the data will be in the form of packets so then uh, the, from the network layer to the next layer is the transport layer the tan in the transport layer the data will be in the form of segments so from the next from the transport layer to the next layer is the session layer in the session layer the data will be in uh, the data will be uh, session layer as well as presentation layer as well as application layer the data will be in the form of message so these are all the osi layers so each layer having some specific uh, functionalities the first layer is physical layer physical layer it provides a physical medium through which bits are transmitted that is uh, zeros and ones while coming to the next layer is data link layer data link layer is the node to node delivery of a message it is used for error free transfer of data frames while coming to the next layer is network layer it is responsible for moving packets from source to destination the next layer is the transport layer it provides reliable message delivery 
from process to process. The next layer is the session layer. Uh, it is used for uh, establishing the connection as well as managing the connection as well as terminating the sessions. Next layer is the presentation layer. So the, in this presentation layer, it is responsible for uh, translation as well as uh, compression as well as encryption techniques. The final layer is uh, which is used for which will be used by the user. So application layer, uh, this will be the services which are used by the user. So uh, let let me discuss about one by one uh, layer elaborately. Phys the first layer is the physical layer. Physical layer is the lowest layer of the OSI model. So it is responsible for uh, physical connection between uh, devices. So in the physical layer, the data will be in the form of bits. Data is nothing but information. So it uh, it is responsible for transmitting individual bits from one node to the another node. So uh, everything will be in the in the physical layer. The data will be in the form of zeros and ones. So the next from the physical layer to the uh, whatever we are receiving the data from the physical layer that will be sent to the uh, data link layer. I mean some of the functions of the physical layer: uh, bit synchronization, bit rate control, physical topology, transmission mode. So bit synchronization, synchronization is nothing but which will provides uh, synchronization of the bits, uh, which will uh, which is providing a clock. So this clock uh, will controls both sender as well as receiver by providing the synchronization at the bit level. So the next one is the next function is bit rate control. So here uh, which will defines the transmission rate. So that is uh, number of, uh, number of bits. Uh, which, which we are going to send per uh, send per second. Then physical topology. So topology is nothing but arrangement of nodes in a physical structure. We have different uh, uh, topologies are there uh, like uh, star topologies, bus topology, tree topology, mesh topology, ring topology, etc. So next one is the next function is transmission mode. So transmission mode specifies how the data will be flow from. Uh, one, one that is from one device to another device. There will be different uh, transmission modes are there, uh, which will be simplex mode. Then another one, uh, the next one is optuplex, and the next one is full tuplex. So simplex mode is the which is the simplest one. Optuplex is nothing but the data will be in uh, only one. Uh, the data flow will be in only one direction. So full tuplex, uh, the data will be flowing in two two direction. Example, telephone calls. So walkie-talkie, these are all the examples of the uh, off-duplex and full-duplex communications. So next layer is the data link layer. Already we know uh, from the physical layer, whatever we are receiving the data from the physical layer, that will be sent to the data link layer. So in the, uh, in the data link layer, which is uh, responsible for node-to-node -node delivery of message, the main function of the data, data link layer is uh, error-free transfer of data from uh, source to destination. So here you will be uh, in the data link layer uh, having two sub layers. One is uh, logical link control layer and another one is MAC layer, medium access control layer. So which will be transmit to the MAC layers. Some of the functions of the data link layer, uh, framing, the first function is framing, another one is physical addressing, the third one is error control, the fourth one is flow control and the last one is access control. Framing is nothing but to transmit a set of bits that are meaningful to the receiver. That is framing. Okay, the next one is physical addressing. After creating the frame, the data link layer will add the physical address, which we, which is nothing but a MAC of e sender as well as receiver of e header of each frames. That is physical address, which will be mainly used for MAC address for a network sharing purpose. We are going to use this MAC address. Error control, which is mainly used for controlling the error, uh, which we are going to detect. And uh, if any error now, we are going to retransmit the damaged or lost frames. We are sending, uh, we are sending the data or information. So after receiving, uh, while receiving, if we are facing any failure or error, okay, it uh, retransmit the damaged or lost frames. Flow control, while coming to the flow control, we are sending the too many packets at a time there will be a chance of uh, 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 the data data loss. So while sending the data may be uh, get corrupted for that flow control, which will coordinate the amount of data that can be sent 
before receiving an acknowledgement that is the use of the flow control access control this will helps to determine which device to control over the channel at a given time these are all the functions of the data link layer framing physical addressing error control flow control access control from the data link layer uh, the next layer uh, uh, the next layer is the network layer in the network layer uh, the data will be in the form of uh, packets so that is transmission of data from one node to another node uh, which uh, in the in the form of packets so here the mainly uh, the main uh, it also uh, the main uh, role of this network layer is packet routing so that means uh, selection of the uh, here uh, shortest path we are finding uh, shortest path to transmitting a packet from source to destination which we are having number of routes are available so the functions of the uh, network layer is routing the first function is the routing and second function is the logical addressing routing is the main function which we are going to determine which route is suitable from source to destination so we have num n number of uh, routes are there so among the n number of routes which is the shortest routes that we are going to take so uh, we are go uh, then only we are going to achieving a possible solution optimal solution for that we are going to use these routing algorithms the logical addressing is nothing but uh, to identify each device uh, uniquely uh, which we should be different then only you can able to know which is uh, which which is coming from which id which is which is coming from the next ip ad, uh, based on the unique uh, uniqueness the network lay uh, this is for logical address the next uh, while coming to the transport layer the next layer is the transport layer the transport layer which will provides uh, application uh, which will provide uh, which is uh, the, the services from uh, we are getting the services from the network layer uh, we are going to processing in the transport layer so take services from the network layer okay the data will be in the transport layer is uh, called as segments so here it is responsible for end to end delivery of the message in the transport layer uh, provides uh, acknowledgement if the your, your data will be successfully received na you will be getting an acknowledgement no need of retransmitting the data if your your data will your data is uh, not successfully sent by the receiver na uh, once again we are going to retransmit the data so that is the uh, some of the functions of the transport layer segmentation and reassembly another one is service point addressing so segmentation is nothing but uh, you know that is we are going uh, the whole message is uh, broken down into some smaller units that is nothing but uh, segmentation each segments which we are going to associate it with the one header so the trans uh, then uh, while coming to the service point addressing so to tell uh, in the service point addressing uh, which is having a, uh, that is a to deliver the message uh, for the correct process we are going to uh, uh, having the header which is a type of header called uh, that is a type of address called header which is called as service point address or port address which is very very important this port address based on this port address only we are going to sharing the networks through this uh, port address we are going to we, we are going to can able to access the networks you will be having in the transport layer having the services called uh, two services one is connection oriented service another one is connection less service so connection oriented service uh, which is an uh, uh, we are going to use the protocol called transmission uh, control protocol that is tcp here you will be having three phases first we have uh, before starting of the process first we have to establish the connection then uh, after establishing the connection we are we are going to uh, transfer the data after transferring the data once it, uh, your data will be transferred uh, we are going to terminate or disc, uh, dis, uh, we are going to terminate the connections so in the in the connection oriented service which is reliable and a secure one so here there will be an acknowledgement pro policy will be there so through that acknowledgement only our data will be received properly or not by the receiver okay while coming to the connectionless service we are going to use the protocol called udp user datagram protocol so here having the uh, only for here only having the phase called data transfer phase only so here uh, there is no acknowledgement in this uh, connectionless service so uh, through uh, without acknowledgement we cannot able to uh, 
uh, predict uh, our data will be processed uh, received properly by the receiver so which is somewhat uh, connection uh, conne uh, connection oriented uh, connectionless service somewhat less reliable so these are all the services well uh, the next layer is the session layer session layer is responsible for establishing the connection maintenance maintenance maintaining the connection as well as authentication as well as which will ensures the security so some of the functions of the session layer uh, the first the very much first function is session establishment maintenance as well as uh, termination this layer will allows uh, establish as well as terminate the connection once your connection will be established your data that the next phase will be data transfer after uh, in 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 this we are going to use a concept called synchronization here we are uh, adding the checkpoints in the uh, in the synchronization points of the data so which uh, which will help to identify uh, the error for this uh, purpose we are going to use this uh, checkpoints mechanism so uh, for through this checkpoint our data will be synchronized properly so or not okay the next one is dialog controller so which uh, through this dialog controller our data will be flows properly or not which will be in the form of that is either off duplex or full duplex or simplex mode the next layer is the presentation layer present uh, presentation layer which is also called as translation layer uh, the uh, the data will be uh, extracted from the application layer and which we are uh, which we are manipulated as per the required format to transmit over the network in the presentation layer so only the required format uh, to transmit over the network which we, in the presentation layer so there will be different functions of the presentation layer translation uh, another one is encryption or decryption compression translation is nothing but we are going to converting uh, one uh, format to another format uh, which is the required format uh, for that is the translation uh, which is example ascii to ebcdic format then second one is second function is encryption or decryption encryption is nothing but which will be in the sender side the data will be in the encrypted format so data encryption which will uh, which which will be in the form that is cipher text which is the duplicate message in the receiver side uh, decrypted data which is called as plain text which is the original message so based on the key uh, value we are going to encrypting the data as well as key value we are going to decrypting the data so that that is the required data so which will be done by the receiver side then compression compression is nothing but which you are going to reducing the size of the data then the last layer is the physical layer so the required uh, services which we are going to use the services which will be in the application layer uh, like uh, the services which are used by the application layer the required services in the application layer example whatsapp messenger skype etc uh, etc et so through this layer uh, through this uh, osm layers only the data will be transferring from the source to the destination how the data will be exchanging how the data is transmitting how the data is uh, received so through this uh, la seven layers so th this is the uh, osi reference model topic this is the summary of uh, the osi reference model in the physical layer we are going to use the device called hub uh, repeater modem cables the in the data link layer we are going to use the device called uh, switch bridges in the network layer going to use the device called a router in the transport layer firewall and then session layer gateway and the presentation layer which will be in the form of jpeg format mpeg format application layer sm uh, we are going to use the protocol called smtp protocol file transfer protocol ftp protocols these are all the references uh, which we have referred for this uh, osi reference models data communication and networking uh, uh, backrobs a porosan textbook and another one is uh, geeks for geeks and another one is java point so from these references i have referred for the uh, for this uh, uh, topic thank you